Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Page number. Tell me the page number. Page number. Thirty-two. Page number thirty-two. Fine. Paragraph. Fifth from the line. But when she went back into okay. the room. So now, beta, we have read that. Uh, Yes, you may did not wash that prisoner, and Hana, you know, she was forced to wash him, and as she was washing him, Doctor Sadao he enters, and uh, he was there with the surgeon's emergency bag and surgeon's coat. He was there, and Hana says that you have already decided to operate him. He says yes. Okay, and then uh, he just asked him to bring the towels and everything. So she does bring the towels, and uh, then she thinks that uh, uh, <clears throat> some old pieces of matting might be there in the garden that the gardener used to take. Why? Because uh, uh, during the cold winters, the shrubs, the small plants. Okay. they may not die so he used to cover the shrubs with these uh, pieces of matting okay the old matting was there so she goes back and just she takes an armful of them armful samajh rahe mutti bhar lekar aati hai wo and then she comes back into the room up till here but when she went back into the room this one yes ma'am okay so put the date beta hurry up hurry up Date written. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But when she went went back into the room, she saw this was useless. The blood had already soaked through the packing in the man's wound and had ruined the mat under him. Okay, she goes out to the garden to bring the mat so that she might place them. Okay, so that the uh, find the beautiful matting of the floor. where the prisoner was lying that might not be ruined by his blood but everything went in vain as she enters the room she finds that the blood had already soaked through the uh, packing of the man's wound and had already spoiled the mat uh, that was covering the floor oh the mat she cried okay and she did not like it why because the mat you know it was spoiled Yes, it is ruined. Sadao replied. Okay, Sadao said, "Ha, huh, mat is too bad. It's gone. As though he did not care, help me to turn him. He commanded her. Okay, now doctor, now he had busy. Okay, he was busy with all the operation things and all. Okay, why? Because he had to operate him soon. Otherwise, he would die. So he just uh, orders her to help him in turning this prisoner of war." she obeyed him without a word and he began to wash the man's back carefully yumi would not wash him she said did you wash him then sadam asked not stopping for a moment his swift concise movements okay swift is fast and concise is brief movements okay jo fatafat wo actions kar raha tha he was washing the man he did not pay too much of attention to hana and hana she tries to complain that yumi she denied to uh, obey her orders she did not wash this prisoner of war so he just confirmed so then you washed him yes she said he did not seem to hear her but she was used to his absorption when he was at work okay ab aisa laga ki dr sadao did not listen to hana but hana knew very well that doctor was very much absorbed you know whenever he did the operation he was absolutely 100% involved in the operation and he hardly paid attention to what the other people spoke she wondered for a moment if it mattered to him what was the body upon uh, which he worked so long as it was for the work he did so excellently and then hana she thinks that if dr sadao you know he is conscious okay if it matters to him if he is uh, if if he knows uh, well that uh, the body that he is operating on is the body of a prisoner of war okay of a man who is their enemy 
तो डज इट मैटर टू हिम ऐसा उसको लगा लेकिन इट डिड नॉट मैटर टू डॉक्टर सदा वाई बिकॉज एज अ ट्रू डॉक्टर ही वॉज बिजी ऑपरेटिंग दैट मैन एंड ही डिड नॉट हैव any other thought in his mind ki yes i am saving the prisoner of war or he is my prisoner or he is my enemy you will have to give the anesthetic if he needs it he said okay aur phir hana ko kehta hai ki zarurat padi so you need to give anesthetic what is anesthetic to make the patient that is an injection yes an injection okay oh, while operating anesthetic is being given na एनेस्थीसिया दिया जाता है ना पर्सन को एनेस्थेटिक कर दिया जाता है ओके तो जिससे उसको पेन फील ना हो आई शी रिपीटेड ब्लैंकली बट नेवर हैव आई नाउ थोड़ा सा घबरा गई एंड शी सेड आई आई हैव नेवर गिवन एनेस्थेटिक टू एनीबॉडी इट इज इजी इनफ कहता है इट्स इजी ही वाज टेकिंग आउट द पैकिंग नाउ एंड द ब्लड बिगन टू फ्लो मोर क्विकली हाउ डिड ही पैक द वुंड डू यू रिमेंबर हाउ डिड ही पैक द वुंड विद द मॉस Uh, with the skimmers, okay. So now, when he took out the packing, you know, again the blood it started flowing out. He peered into the wound, means he looked into the wound with the bright surgeon's light fastened on his forehead. You might have seen doctors who operate the person; uh, they have this light on the head, okay, light that is tied on the head. देखते हो ना? it bends yes, it is not you know to look into the wound while operating it is not possible for them to carry a torch and so something like that to wo jo light hai na it comes on the wound the person ko operate kara jata hai to uska har minute organ that is visible okay through this light only to wo wound ko bhi dekhta hai through this light the bullet is still there and he was able to see ki the bullet you know it was still there in the wound see how painful it might have been he said with cool interest now i wonder how deep this rock wound is if it is not too deep it may be that i can get the bullet okay and then he thinks oh how deep you know the rock wound it might be sochta hai pata nahi kitna deep hoga lekin if it is not deep if deep nahi hoga to surely very easily i he would be able to take out the bullet but the bleeding is not superficial he has lost much blood okay lekin khoon aise hi nahi aa raha hai actually he was badly injured the bullet was inside and that is why this man he lost lot of blood okay when he was thrown by the sea he got hit by the rocks the blood was oozing out as soon as okay dr sadao he touches the body of this prisoner when he was lying on his face in the sand then also the blood it started coming out now uh, the sea moss the packing was taken taken out and as the packing it was taken out the blood it started oozing out again so he understand that the man has lost has lost lot of blood much blood he has lost at this moment hana choked she looked up and saw her face the color of sand abhana you know even she saw the wound and her throat choked she was somewhat you know she started feeling giddy okay as she has never seen an open wound usne kabhi ek koi open wound khao nahi dekha tha samajh mein aaya to bahut giddy feel karne lagi uska ji ghabrane laga face bilkul sulfur ki tarah ho gaya uska don't faint he said sharply okay bahut tez awaaz mein kehta hai don't faint he did not put down his exploring instrument okay from which he was exploring the wound you know wo usne rakhe nahi hana ko attend nahi kara kya bola wo if i stop now the man will surely die got it the wound had already been opened aur usko laga ki now if i am going to stop and attend hana okay the man you know he would definitely die so it was not necessary for him at this moment or at that moment to attend hana it was very necessary for him to attend the prisoner she clapped her hands to her mouth okay clapping you got it putting the hands like this you know and uh, leaped up and ran out of the room and surely she jumped up jumped means very fast she just went out of the room why 
she was vomiting. She had this feeling of vomiting. Okay, she was feeling giddy. Outside in the garden, he heard her retching. Retching means vomiting. But he went on with his work. Okay, now in the garden also, Hana, you know, she vomited. Dr. Sadao heard her voice, but he did not have any other option except to operate this man. Otherwise, if he would have left this man, that man, okay, prisoner at that moment, 100% sure he was that he would have died. So he did not go to attend Hana and he continued with his work. Samaj mein aa hai? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. Arihant, after a long time? Arihant, seeing you after a long time, isn't it? Every yes, day you are there. Kya ho gaya tha? Yes, Arihan? Maybe he might be having problem in the connection of the audio. Beta, don't try to miss this class. Send me one of the most important chapters like Indigo and all. So don't miss it. वैसे भी थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द कोर्स इट हैज बी डिलीटेड बाय सीबीएसई तो जो भी आएगा सेवेंटी परसेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ इट विल बी बेटर फॉर हर टू एम्प्टी हर स्टमक ही थॉट ओके और उसको लगता है कि इट वुड बी बेटर फॉर हर ना टू एम्प्टी हर स्टमक टू वॉमिट कई बार होता है ना वॉमिट करने के बाद वी फील गुड ओके वी फील बेटर इज इन टच कई बार होता है ना तो वो भी कहता है कि इट वुड बी बेटर फॉर हर टू वॉम इट एट लास्ट स्टमक इट वुड बी एम टी एंड शी वुड फील फाइन ही ऑपरेशन अब डॉक्टर सदा ये भूल गया था कि हना ने कभी ऑपरेशन नहीं देखा था बट हर डिस्ट्रेस एंड इज इन एबिलिटी टू गो टू हर एडवांस मेड हिम इम पेशेंट एन एरिटेबल विद दिस मैन हु लाइक डेड अंडर हिज नाइफ लेकिन उसका डिस्ट्रेस और उसकी इनेबिलिटी ओके बड़ा डिस्ट्रेस हो चुका था बहुत इनेबल था है ना ही वाज नॉट एबल टू गो टू हाना एंड अटेंड हर तो ये सोचकर वो काफी इम्पेशेंट हो जाता है एंड इरिटेबल हो जाता है ओके इरिटेटेड हो जाता है क्लियर और इरिटेटेड क्यों हो जाता है एक तरह से चिड़ने लगता है विद दिस मैन हु वॉज लाइंग डेड अंडर हिज नाइफ डेड मीन्स वॉज ही श्योरली डेड वॉज ही रियली डेड स्विफ्टली Okay, and he just proceeded. Means he continued his operation in a rapid manner. In his dream, the man moaned, moaned. You got it? Cried in pain. But Sadao paid no heed, no attention except to mutter at him. Okay. Now, though this man was unconscious, but still he was feeling the pain. So he cried in pain in his unconscious stage. But Sadao, he did not pay any attention to it. Groan, he muttered. Groan, if you like, means cry in pain if you like. He says, "I am not doing this for my own pleasure. In fact, I do not know why I am doing it." Okay, when this man he groans, he cries in pain. Uh, it was the habit of doctors without to talk to the patients while operating them. So he tells him, "Ki you just groan, you know, if you want to groan, okay, cry in pain." But you know, I'm not doing it for my own happiness. I don't have any other option. In fact, even I do not know the reason why I'm doing it. Why I'm trying to save you. The door opened and there was Hana again. <clears throat> Where is the anesthetic? Okay, आके वो पूछती है. She had already vomited and now she was feeling better. Sadao motioned with his chin. It is as well that he came back. 
this fellow is beginning to steer. Steer means move. Okay. So Wuhana ko kata, it is fine that you came back. It is good. Why? Because now you have to hold this person. Why? Because he has started moving. And when a person moves, you know, it is not possible to operate a person. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. Okay. That is why anesthetic is given to the person so that he might not move and he might not feel the pain of the knife. Okay. Of the operation. <coughs> Now she had the bottle and some cotton in her hand. But how shall I do it? Okay. Now she had not given anesthetic to anybody up till now. She was having the bottle and cotton in her hand. And she asked her husband how to give anesthetic. Simply saturate the cotton and hold it near his nostrils. Okay. Dip the cotton. Okay. Into the bottle. The liquid that contained. And just hold it near his nostrils. You know. Very well. Okay. Sadao replied without delaying for one moment the intricate detail of his work. Okay, Sadao he did not delay um, delay in telling him all the details of the work that is to be done by Hana. And when he breathes, he badly move it away a little. And when he started taking long breath, okay, just move it away. She crouched close to the sleeping face of the young American. She sat close to the young young American. It was a piteously thin face. Piteously means on which you have pity, you have mercy. Okay. Jisko dekka daya, the very thin face. She thought and the lips were twisted. The man was suffering whether he knew it or not. Okay. Or lips kaise the twisted te to hana samaj gai. Chai usko hoosh hai ya nahi hai. But this man he was suffering with pain. Watching him, she wondered if the stories they heard sometimes of the sufferings of prisoners were true. Or usko dekke, you know, she thinks ki stories of the prisoners whenever they listen, okay, ki the prisoners were, uh, they were caught and lot of atrocities, cruelties were done on them, lot of tortures were given to them. So were these stories really true? They came like flickers of rumor told by word of mouth and always contradicted. They came like flickers of rumors. Ah, they said rumors spread. Similarly, these stories spread. And when they pass on from one person to another, okay, the story, you know, it takes a lot of turns. It takes a lot of twists and always contradict. Okay, and finally, the thing always gets contradicted. Okay, opposite things they hear. In the newspapers, the reports were always that wherever the Japanese armies went, the people received them gladly with cries of joy at the liberation. On newspaper, my reports are that wherever the Japanese armies, you know, they were going, people would welcome very well because they were going to liberate them. Free them. But sometimes she remembered such men as General Takima who at home beat his wife cruelly. लेकिन कभी-कभी उसे जनरल चकीमा जैसे लोग भी याद आते हैं जो अपनी वाइफ को बहुत बुरी तरह से मारते हैं। Though no one mentioned it now that he had fought so victorious a battle in Manchuria, okay? हालांकि कोई मेंशन नहीं करता है कि बहुत victoriously, okay? He had come out in the battle in Manchuria में बैटल हुआ तो उसमें he was victorious. तो जो इंसान why he thinks of general why she thinks of general चकीमा if a man like that could be so cruel to a woman in his power, would he not be cruel to one like this? Jo insan, okay? Apni power mein rehte hai, ek woman ke saath itti cruelty kar sakta hai. To in case usko prisoners milte honge, to wo unke saath kitti cruelty karte honge, tortures karte honge. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Chalo, beta, fine. God bless you.